Paul tells us that the Holy Spirit has gifted each one of us in special ways. These gifts are more than talents. They are gifts that will enable us to play a special part in the life of the church. He lists some gifts here and some in uh, places like preaching and teaching, encouragement, prayer, service, and music. We're all gifted differently. We all have a special place to use those gifts. Paul goes on in this chapter to describe the church like a human body. Just as our bodies have many parts and are designed for a special purpose, God designed each one of us to fulfill a special purpose in the church. Some spiritual gifts are out front. Some are hidden. Some are big. Some are small. All are vital. Jesus needs all of us to find our role in the church. And when we find it, he wants us to serve joyfully so we as a church can share the love of Christ. On that old show I mentioned, the gong show, you had a a number of bad acts that were actually just jokes, but you also had some people who truly thought they were talented at something they were not. Maybe they got gonged for trying to sing or do magic, but that doesn't mean they didn't have any talent. Maybe it was something you can't do on stage, something like math or writing, or maybe they were gifted at cooking or sports or crafting. The world is not divided into gifted and ungifted people. It's divided into people who know their gifts and people who have not yet discovered their gifts. God has gifted us all in such a way that when we find our gifts and begin using them, we will be more joyful, more fulfilled and happier than we were before we discovered those gifts. Think about all the people who help in this church every week. There are people who teach and preach and lead worship. There are people who turn the lights on, sweep the floors and make sweets for you to enjoy after service. There are people who run soundboards and people who rock babies. There are people who counsel other people through tough decisions and people who direct traffic in the parking lot. Every part of our body matters from our brains to our knees to our other parts. They all play a part in keeping us alive. Every role in our church needs to be played. And the more uh, of us who step up and use our gifts, the better we can serve. Not just the people in the church, but our community as well. I hope you'll be here for each week of this series. I hope you'll pray for God to reveal your unique gifts. You are special and God has a plan for you. Are you ready to find your gifts? All right, let's close with a quick prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for choosing us to serve you. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, amen.